Now, the other thing with the reactive hypoglycemia, and, and I think that this kind of highlights a bigger issue of, you know, only using a single blood sugar measurement to make a diagnosis of somebody's yeah. metabolic health. Yeah. You know, if you have somebody come in fasted for a test in the morning after 10 hours, they may be at some stage of reactive hypoglycemia where their, their, you know, blood sugar is kind of on its way down. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it could be, like you said, it could be in the nineties, it could be eighties, maybe even seventies. And if that's the only measure that you're looking at, you may think, well, my blood sugar doesn't fall into that, you know, one, 100 to 120 range or whatever that's considered an issue. Yeah. Um, so I think that's like one of the, the big issues is like, if you really want to get a picture of your metabolic health um, and your blood sugar regulation, you need to be testing throughout the day after meals. And, and I know you, you put out some good information on that so we can touch on that. But I think you going through and highlighting all of those problems, this is one of the issues with the ketogenic diet. Uh, it, the reputation that it gets is that, you know, so many people feel like a keto diet is like uh, some, we're, you know, promoting it as some miracle diet because you hear somebody say, well, I lost 50 pounds. I cured my PCOS. My cholesterol numbers got better. Um, I don't have headaches anymore. I stopped losing hair. And people hear that and they're like, okay, like what is this, you know, the snake oil that you're selling here that's going to cure every disease. But when you really have an understanding of, and, and you know, I always tell people, uh, a really good book about this is why why we get sick from Dr. Ben, ben Bickman ben. because he basically hi, you know highlights every single um, system of the body and how insulin resistance and blood sugar dysregulation is is the cause of dysfunction with those organs. Yeah. Um, but it's when you realize that most of our health problems are rooted in these uh, these same things, you know, insulin resistance and inflammation and blood sugar dysregulation, all of these things. Then you realize that like sometimes it only takes one or two. Uh, you know, therapeutic strategies to be able to target these things. And that's why a ketogenic, so, a ketogenic diet is so powerful.